I'm Carrie Sicello with Do Right Vishlas. Today I'm going to be talking about what category of breeder does your breeder fall in? Backyard, hobby, or professional? After many years of professionally breeding Vishlas, I'm sharing this information to hopefully educate future puppy buyers. Most of the time when a person chooses to buy a Vishla, or any purebred dog for that matter, the decision is based on factors like the appearance, the temperament, the characteristics, the breed's history, and the maintenance of the dog. I encourage all potential dog owners to educate themselves on the topic of what category of breeder does your breeder fit in. You may ask yourself, why should this matter to me? This should matter to you for many reasons and hopefully throughout this video I can help educate and enlighten you on this topic. A professional breeder is someone who is exhibiting dogs in a competitive endeavor to prove the dog's genetics. This may be an AKC show ring, agility, hunt test, an AKC and American field, field trials, and I'm sure there are many more, but you understand my point. This is a breeder who is passionate in proving their dog's genetics to obtain AKC or American field titles on the dog. These people are trying to earn enough points on the dog to earn a champion title. In terms of a Vishla, let's just think about this dog's history and the intent of the breed. A Vishla is a pointing dog which derived from Hungary. It was bred to be a hunting dog, a bird dog. When we think about why a person would breed a Vishla, it should be important to a future dog owner why this dog is being bred and how it's contributing to the gene pool. Something else that is critical in a puppy buyer's decision should be what do I plan to do with my dog? Do I plan to field trial, hunt, show, agility, or strictly a companion? If you plan to field trial or hunt with your dog, it is imperative that you select a breeder who has proven bloodlines in field trials. Just like it would be unfair to ask a sumo wrestler to run a marathon, it would be unfair to ask a dog to hunt and find birds if he didn't have the genetics to support these attributes. If you plan to show your dog, you likely should buy a dog from a proven show breeder. On the same topic, let's say you don't plan to do anything competitive with your dog. You just want a pet. Here's where the categories I mentioned come into play. Backyard, hobby, or professional. Let me further explain the professional breeder. Earlier, I mentioned this breeder attends events to gain points on a dog to prove its genetics and bloodlines and to earn championship titles. Take horseback field trial breeders as an example. These people are passionate about gaining field championship and amateur field championship titles and likely are striving to win national championships. Not only do they attend events which are most often several hundred miles from home, but they must train these dogs on quail, which could cost a couple of thousand dollars in birds to get a dog steady to wing and shot. They must have a horse and maintain that horse, which is a few thousand dollars a year for one horse. And most of these people own multiple horses. And they must have a vehicle which can tow and a trailer which can haul. When you start to add all of these things up, a buyer certainly could conclude these people are passionate about their dogs in obtaining field championship and amateur field championship titles. Also, a professional breeder will have a well-written and extensive health guarantee. If something goes wrong, the professional breeder will make it right. After all, they should be living and dying by their reputation. Let's go one step further. Let's say you are the buyer who says, I just want a pet, so why should the facts about a professional breeder matter to me? Let me explain. If you are purchasing a dog just for a companion, that's just fine. I assume you hope to buy a healthy dog who looks and acts like the purebred dog of your choice. Many people who go on to do other things with their dog other than companionship didn't think they would get involved in any type of dog sport or activity. Oftentimes your four-legged friend will take you down a road you never thought you would travel. In this instance, if that should occur, it is important that you have a dog with the substance and grit to achieve your newfound interest and goals. There have been many occasions in my years as a field trial competitor that a new person decided to see what a field trial was all about, attended one and fell in love with the sport. The newbie's thoughts were, yep, I have a Vishla and we can do this sport. Oftentimes and unfortunately the newbie is right. They have a Vishla, 
but they have one who was not bred to hunt and possibly it was bred for no specific purpose other than a financial gain. The newbie then has a difficult decision to make. Quit the sport they truly enjoy or buy another dog that was bred for the intended purpose and has proven genetics and bloodlines. If you plan to buy a purebred dog, please support professional breeders. Quite honestly, the difference in price comparatively between the backyard, hobby, and professional breeder is not very significant, but the difference in quality is astronomical. A dog with proven genetic sound health and temperament is important in your decision. If you ever decide to do something more with your dog, you have the right product to do that with. If you decide to only have a pet companion, you have made the best choice in buying a dog with the qualities previously mentioned. Kind of like you wouldn't buy a draft horse to run at the Kentucky Derby. Hoppy breeders initially buy a dog who has titles in their five generation pedigree, but are not titled themselves. They buy a second dog of the opposite gender and begin breeding. These type of breeders do little to nothing to further compete or exhibit the dogs to prove any genetics or bloodlines. These breeders live and die for five generation history. These breeders do not spend any money campaigning dogs. Their biggest expense is feeding the dog. Some of their selling points are this dog is a rebel rouser dog. Well, I will inform you there is rebel rouser in almost every Vishla in the United States because that was our foundation stock. Also having a champion three generations back in a pedigree really means you are purchasing a dog that is three times diluted. A buyer's hope with a hobby breeder is that they have a written health guarantee, which they will stand by if something goes wrong. A buyer probably has a 50-50 shot of the hobby breeder standing behind them. The backyard breeder is the breeder who purchases a purebred dog. They didn't pay any mind to the pedigree or anything else for that matter. Their intent is to purchase a purebred dog, find a mate, produce puppies, and make money. These breeders care solely about making money. They don't have any concern for the health and well-being of the animal and most likely will not have any guarantee on the dog. If something goes wrong with your pup, the backyard breeder will likely not stand behind the dog. What separates the professional from the hobby from the backyard breeder? The bottom line is there may be a $200 difference between the professional and the hobby breeder, and there may be a $400 difference between the hobby breeder and the backyard breeder. What a buyer should concern themselves with is the overall picture. Keep in mind the gene pool for Vishla's is fairly small. The Vishla's integrity and type should be protected and the professional breeder is doing that by only breeding proven stock. I think a potential buyer should take comfort in the expertise of the professional breeder and their willingness to be supportive and a good ambassador to the breed. These things will not be found in the hobby and backyard breeder. Here are some good and fair questions a potential buyer can ask a breeder. Why do you breed your dogs? What titles have you earned? And do you have a written health guarantee? In conclusion, I hope this video helps all potential puppy buyers make an informed and sound decision, one which will have a positive impact on the family, the dog, and the future of the breed. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found it helpful and informative, and I hope that it helps you support professional breeders.